Mo Foundation ni mfuko ulioanzishwa mwaka 2015 na mkurugenzi mtendaji wa makampuni ya Mohamed Enterprises, Mohamed Deuji, maarufu kama Mo, ukiwa na lengo la kuiondolea jamii ya kitanzania umaskini hali ngumu na kuboresha maisha yao. Mfuko huu umejikita katika kutatua matatizo ya elimu na afya ambayo kwa kiasi kikubwa yanakuhamisha maendeleo ya Watanzania walio wengi. Akizungumza na wanafunzi wa elimu ya juu kutoka vyuo mbalimbali nchini ambao wamenufaika na mfuko huo, mwenyekiti wa Mo Foundation Mohamed Deuje anaanza kwa kueleza historia kuanzishwa kwa mfuko huo. Rudi nyuma kwenye historia yangu. Mimi ni mzaliwa wa Singida kwa bahati nzuri au bahati mbaya hata kufika hospitali sijafika nazaliwa nyumbani na midwife sasa lile jimbo la Singida ni tunasema ni it's a peri urban constituency ni jimbo una mjini lakini ukitoka kilomita tano kumi unakutana na vijiji kwa kuwa watu takriban laki moja wako mjini na laki moja walikuwa vijijini kuna story ambayo ni 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 linigusa sana nimetoka pale nimeenda nimesema hapa mjini sawa nimepaona na nini basi tutoke pale vijijini nilimkuta mzee mmoja yani kilomita kumi tu kutoka mjini pale nimekuta mzee mmoja e, kukuwa na maji ya njano alikuwa na sinia alafu alikuwa na ndoo alikuwa anateka maji anaweka kwenye ndoo kumuuliza mzee je unafanya shikamo unafanya nini anasema bana hayo maji eh ndio tunakunywa sisi nimemuuliza mbunge wenu nani amsema mbunge wetu ni waziri wa maji of course mimi siamwamini na yeye kwa tafsiri yake na kuniona alishajua kwamba kwa mimi nimetoka Marekani nimesema kwamba haiwezekani kwa nchi yetu vitu kama hivi bado vinaendelea. Amenambia tuende nyumbani. Nimekuta nyumbani nimeenda nyumbani nimekuta watoto wanatumia unajua zizi tukitumia si tunatupa sio? Naona watoto wako wanakunywa maji ya njano. Watu wanapata typhoid, waterborne diseases. Nimefanya research kuja kuona watoto watatu mpaka wanne kati ya kumi walikuwa wanapoteza maisha yao kutokana na waterborne diseases ili kitu limenisturb sana yule mzee alikuwa anamjua babu yangu babu yangu alikuwa na macho ya paka sasa pale singida kulikuwa kuna mtu ambaye alikuwa na macho ambayo yanafanana na Rachel sio eh? sasa walikuwa na muita macho ya paka anasema mimi babu yako namjua mo kwa nini usije ukagombea ubunge sasa mimi nimeenda nimefikiria nimefikiria nimerudi nyumbani na mwambia baba yangu mama yangu nataka nikagombea ubunge singida kwa nini i had a belief nilikuwa naamini kwamba nitaenda kusaidia wana singida Ah bwana mo we unajulikana Dar es Salaam na nini na nini kwa nini usigombee Dar es Salaam mimi ambia hapana mimi kama nataka nikigombee nikagombee Singida nyumbani kwangu wapi nimezaliwa mimi Basi kakubali nimegombea tumeingia kwenye uchaguzi at that time kulikuwa na kura za maoni jamaa waziri nimemshinda vibaya lakini walisema kwamba hata baada mo bado we hauna experience ya uongozi na nini basi miaka mitano nimengoja fikra yangu ilikuwa ni kuleta development through leadership ya ubunge na na namshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwamba tulifanikiwa sana na kila idara nimeingia pale tulikuwa na shule mbili za sekondari tumemaliza mi nimemaliza miaka kumi zangu uh, tulikuwa na shule 22 accessibility ya maji at that time ilikuwa ni asilimia nane. na tukiongelea accessibility ya maji tunaongelea world health organization standards 1 km yani mama anatoka na ndoo ya lita 
ishirini anatembea kilomita kumi inamchukua masaa mawili anarudi na maji inachukua masaa manne mengine mwisho wa yote anatoa maji ya kutengeneza chakula alafu mwanaume anaoga maskini mwanamke hana maji hata kuosha uso wake kwa hiyo nimesema kwamba lazima ni invest kwenye maji 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 accessible tumetoa from 22% tumefika paka kwenye 83 84% na huduma kupeleka huduma za maji ni, ni, ni gharama kubwa kutokana na sisi utamaduni wetu wa kitanzania vijijini tunapenda kuishi mbali kwa hawezi kupeleka pale yani unaenda kusaidia kwa mpigo lazima uende unafanya topography hapa wanakuambia bana topography milioni mbili tafuta eneo kumi, milioni ishirini, wanakuambia bana sasa nenda ukichimba kwa kuwa singida ilikuwa na ukame basi unachimba unaenda mita mia, unapoteza milioni kumi, wakuti maji kwa it was a tough task tume fight mambo ya HIV tume fight mambo ya malaria at that time high school ilikuwa kulikuwa na kuna free education lakini mheshimiwa mkufuli baadaye kaja kaleta free education kwenye high school lakini sisi mimi nimekuwa na nilikuwa natoa scholarships kwa watoto ambao wako kwenye mazingira magumu yatima nini yani nilikuwa nasomesha labda asilimia themanini ya watoto ambao wanatoka kwenye darasa la saba kuingia kwenye eh, high school ya yeah, sio high school secondary school secondary school kwa hiyo nimeendelea baadaye 2015 nimesema kwa baba na hii sasa nimetosha. Kwa nini nisianzishe taasisi ambayo inaweza kusaidia jamii kwa ujumla sio singida tu lakini Tanzania kwa ujumla. Kwa hiyo ndio historia yangu. Hapo ndipo ile ishu ya philanthropy na to give back imeanza lakini lazima nianze kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu la kwanza la pili mimi na deni kubwa sana na nchi hii na deni kubwa sana zaidi ya nyinyi ambayo mnajua kwa nini mimi nilitekwa wote mnajua siku tisa nimefungwa macho nimefungwa miguu mikono nawekewa mabunduki kwa najua atakufa lakini dua awe mkristo awe mslam awe chama cha mapinduzi awe opposition watu wameniombea wa Tanzania wameniombea 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 na Mwenyezi Mungu amewasikiliza wa Tanzania wapi umeona duniani kwamba mtu maskini anamwombea mtu tajiri mshakusikia hiyo eh si mimi mi, 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 na matatizo we si tajiri si ajue mwenyewe kaza kisha mo anafafanua kazi ambazo zinafanyika mpaka hivi sasa na kutoa mwelekeo wa siku zijazo na furaha kubwa sana kuonana na nyinyi i look forward to meeting you and hearing your story tapanga muda tutakutana nataka nijue kila mmoja wenu tunaendeleaje kwenye maisha yenu tumeanzisha foundation 2015 with a dream i wanted to improve the lives of communities across tanzania my foundation focuses on healthcare kwani pia tuna 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 healthcare una deal na tumaini la maisha na hiyo pia ni hadithi ambayo nataka nifafanue mimi nilikuwa mbunge kwa na mtoto mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Zakia na she had cancer but it was very late by the time imenifikia nimemleta hapa nilimpeleka muimbili kulikuwa na mzungu mmoja pale mimi nilikuwa ni mtu wa kawaida najaribu kumsaidia mtoto 
nimekaa pale one hour one and a half hours paka amenyona dada mzuri sana mwairish dr trish lakini alikuwa na deal na watoto ambao wana cancer chini ya miaka kumi. na tumekuwa tuna support na tena tuna support shilingi milioni mia moja kuwapa tumaini la maisha lakini ukiona death rates zimepungua kwa asilimia themanini kwa nini detection imekuwa haraka mtoto analetwa pale na baadaye anapata matibabu bure kwa hivyo healthcare tuna focus kwenye hilo community development and education with the goal of building a Tanzania that is free of poverty and hardship education is very important to me because i believe it is key to eliminating poverty the success i've achieved today is because of my education education is a powerful gift it helps people pursue their dreams ndoto yao tanzania is a country whose youth population is very large wote tunajua now almost 15 million in size but only 1% of children attend and graduate from university ikitu ambacho kinanyuma sana 1% is very small it has been my mission to change this through the more scholars program over the past five years more scholars program has supported almost over 100 students through various university providing school fees housing meals and additional support namshukuru mwenyezi mungu with god's grace tumetumia zaidi ya bilioni moja on the most scholars program because i know education changes lives through the gift of education I'm giving the youth of Tanzania the chance to follow their dreams. In the next five years, our program, when Lazma Sisi, Kamata Sisi, two and a vision, our program plans to double in size. There is no limit when it comes to helping my brothers and my young sisters in Tanzania. Mimi, I want to hype this program from 100 to 1000 from 1000 to 10000 I see so many bright students mbele yangu I'm proud of you all for working hard your future is full of possibilities May you shine bright conquer your fears and embrace challenges may god bless you may god bless tanzania may god bless africa ombi langu moja when you become successful when you become successful you sponsor in your life one child i don't want anything in return zaidi ya vitu viwili kwanza mniombeni Eh? na mimi eh, napita kwenye wakati mgumu sana kwenye maisha yangu kwenye biashara zangu na kadhalika kwenye simba yangu <laughs> eh? lakini niombeni hiyo naomba kwamba kwa, kwa, kwa Mwenyezi Mungu eh, mniombeni ni muhimu sana lakini na request moja kwamba we create a connectivity after graduation we follow we follow we follow we follow until they are all standing on their own feet and doing well that is where <laughs> there is one part of success is by educating them but the, the biggest part is to make sure that they succeed and success can come through METL because METL is the largest employer in this country we employ 31,800 people in Tanzania but we are also in many many countries lakini la pili 
since you are more scholars, you have brothers, you have sisters, you want inter in, uh, uh, internships, we should help them get internships, experience, et cetera, et cetera. Like, in most importantly, get their jobs. When they have jobs, my last favor is, when you are stable, your family is stable, you sponsor one guy. Akijibu hoja mbalimbali zotolewa na wanufaika wa mfuko huo, Mo anasema. Leta foreign direct investment, watu watapata ajira, serikali tapata kodi, tumeanza kupata kufanya mahusiano mazuri na dunia nzima. Kwa na imani kubwa sana 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 na mwishima wetu, Rais wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania, mwishima Samia Hassan Suluhu. Kwa ni mshukuru na ye, eh, kwa kazi yake, mzuri na mwelekeo, ndio kiongozi wetu mkuu wa nchi na sisi tunafata nyayo zake. Lakini la pili ni, ni, ni shukuru serikali kwa ujumla. E, sisi kama taasisi tunataka tuendelee kushirikiana na serikali. Unajua serikali e, ina vitu vingi. Hawawezi kutimiza kila jambo. Kwa na sisi kama wafanyabiashara ni responsibility yetu e, kusaidiana na serikali kutimiza vitu vingine. Tunajua kuna bodi ya mikopo na kadhalika na kadhalika lakini kuna wengine ambao wanaweza kuqualify au sikualify hapo ndipo sisi tunakuja. Mo pia anasema atawekeza zaidi katika miradi mbalimbali ya maendeleo kwa kipindi cha miaka minne ijayo ili kutoa ajira kwa Watanzania wapatao laki moja. Vision yangu ilikuwa kwamba mimi tangu nimetoka university nimeona kwamba uchumi wa Tanzania ulikuwa mdogo sana. E, kwa wenzangu ambao wanasoma eco, uh, uh, you know economy au wanataka kuwa ma economists unajua kuna per capita income unasema GDP kuna GDP alafu kuna per capita income yani purchasing power ya watanzania ni shilingi ngapi kwa wastan na Mungu ametujalia tumetoka kwenye dola 300 sasa hivi tumefika paka 1000 dollars kwa mwaka tuko middle income sasa nimesema kwamba sasa jamani hapa nitatajirika vipi eh? kwa hivyo sasa nimeanza kufikiria kwamba nini ambacho watanzania wanataka kutoka asubuhi wakiamka paka usiku wanaenda kulala mimi nitengeneze zile bidhaa kwa hiyo asubuhi akiamka chai mimi na mashamba ya chai anatumia chai yangu sukari na biashara sukari sawa so, pale anataka mandazi mimi natengeneza ngano akitaka baisikeli na baisikeli akitaka pikipiki kuna mo boxer akitaka kuvaa kanga kitenge natengeneza kanga kitenge mchana kila ugali na, na sembe na mo sembe mafuta na mafuta na kadhalika na kadhalika na kadhalika kwa hivyo nimekuja na hiyo pretext uweza ndio maana tunasema mo tunagusa maisha ya watu na nilikuwa na, na nimecompete na multinationals hizi tunaongelea Coca Cola, Unilever, Procter and Gamble kwamba wao bei zao zilikuwa juu sana kwa nilikuwa nitengeneza bidhaa ambayo ni competitive kwenye bei lakini good quality product ambayo niweze kuserve wa Tanzania eh, for good quality at a good price na hiyo bado lakini la pili swali kwamba nini kinachonifanya mimi niendelee mimi eh, nataka ni muahidi mheshimiwa rais wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania mheshimiwa mama yetu Samia Suluhu kwamba kwenye miaka minne hii zake kwenye utawala wake mimi nataka nizidishe ajira kutoka watu 1031 tufike la, watu laki moja kwa mara nyingi nawekeza kwenye biashara sio lazima inakuwa ni return on investment inaitwa impact investment kwamba sawa unaweza kupata faida ndogo lakini mradi unaajiri watu wengi 
ndio kitu cha faraja Mwakilishi wa wanafunzi hao anazishauri kampuni zingine kuiga kazi zinazofanywa na mfuko wa Mo Foundation ili kusaidia jamii ya kitanzania kuondoa matatizo mbalimbali ya kiuchumi na kijamii. Kwa niaba ya wanufaika wote wa Mo Dauji Foundation, napenda kutoa shukrani shukura zangu za dhati zikitoka chini ya sakafu ya mioyo yetu. Mo Dauji Scholarship imekupua ndoto zetu na imekuwa msingi mkubwa kwetu siku kuwa kielimu kifikra kijamii pamoja na kupata ufadhili wa masomo ndani ya model foundation tumekuwa tukijifunza mambo mengi zaidi kama umuhimu wa kurudisha kwa jamii kama tunavyoona baba yetu model ya tupadhili sisi na si pia tunajifunza kupitia yeye kwa ajili ya kusaidia jamii zetu kwa kufanya extra curriculum activities na tumekuwa tukipata fursa mbalimbali mfano baadhi ya wetimu wameweza kupata kazi ndani ya metal group hii ni fursa azimu sana kwetu na kwa nchi yetu kama tunavyoona kuna baadhi ambao wamemaliza na wapata nini kazi ndani ya nini ya metal group hivyo ningependa kutoa wito kwa taasisi mbalimbali kujifunza kutoka kwa Mo Deo Foundation na kuweza kujitolea kuendeleza elimu yetu kwa kutoa ufadhili wa masomo kama wote tunavyotambua kuwa bila elimu kujinasua kwenye umaskini kuna baki kuwa ni kitendawili na ambacho wa Kevin kutegua. Sisi tumepata fursa hii lakini uhitaji bado ni mkubwa sana. Tunakuombea kwa Mungu ndugu Muhammad Deuch aweze kuongezea zaidi. Kukutia imani na nia kuendelea kusaidia Watanzania wengi zaidi na zaidi. Hivyo basi nipende kutoa shukrani zangu za dhati kwa Muhammad Deuji pamoja na uongozi mzima wa Mo Dauji Foundation Mungu awabariki zaidi ya wanafunzi moja kutoka vyuo kumi vya elimu ya juu nchini wananufaika na ufadhili wa masomo kutoka Mo Foundation ni matumaini yangu mtazamaji wa TBC1 umenufaika vya kutosha na makala haya maalum yaliyoangazia mfuko wa Mo Foundation hadi wakati mwingine kwa heri kwa sasa